Hello my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today I have a thrift flip for you using some stencils from Michaels that I got recently with little birds on them. I just love it. And a little picket fence um, piece that I picked up at the Goodwill quite a while ago. But I wanted to uh, use it and put these stencils on there. So let's get started and see how it came out. Before we get started, I'd just like to let you know that this is a collaboration with Tammy at the Rusted Willow and Elizabeth at Southern G. Moore Gals. And this is a third Thursday thrift flip. And it's an open invite collaboration. I will have their channels linked down in the description below and also the playlist to this collaboration with all the other creators that have joined. So check, please go down and check those out after you watch my video. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, here is the little fence piece of fence that I had and it has a little stain up in the right hand corner and it has really cool textured uh, like crackle on it so I'm not going to paint it at all. Here is the birds, branches, and flowers stencil that I got from Michaels. It's a folk art brand and I've wanted to get the birds for a while and I also want to get them in the clay molds because I think those would be cool too. So I'm using, putting the one bird and branches in one corner of the fence piece and I taped it down with just a little bit of scotch tape just to help me hold it and I am just kind of stippling the Waverly ink chalk paint onto the piece and I go lightly and then I just go over it again so that I don't get it too watery so that it leaks. So I think that came out really cute. How adorable. Now I'm taking the other corner and I'm going to use the other bird facing the other way with the branches and I'm going to stipple on that, on that side. And again, just going lightly and then going back over it again. So I have this family sign that I want to put on top of the fence, but it's the same color. So, and I don't want to paint over it. So I just thought I would take some of the black, the black paint that I was using and go around the edges and make that pop a little bit. So this is where I want to put it, but again I want it to pop even more so these flowers that I have, I'm going to put them in the corners of the opposite corners of the little sign. So I again put tape that down and put a little flower there. And now I'm distressing the fence, the picket fence and kind of checking out my piece to see what I want to do with that. And I do want to put a flower down on the other end of where the sign is going to go. But I did want to get this on so that it had a distressed look and that you could see the individual picket fence pieces on their own. There we go, so there's one corner and then I'll just put this down and get it set where I want the other corner to be and then tape that again so it won't move on me and again stipple that on and just I just go lightly at first and then I go back over it with another coat to make it a little bit darker. Now I'm using a wet rag and it's just not wet but damp, lightly damp um, and just wiping back that paint to make it look a little bit more worn 
like it's been there a while and not brand new. I'm taking this jute twine on the back of the family sign because I still feel like it doesn't pop enough and I'm making little loops that go on the top and the bottom of the back of the sign. And I think this is going to go really well with the other things that I'm going to do. There we go. And it just gives it a different look. Here I'm just adding a little clear wax all over the top before I put my sign on there and any other embellishments that I'm going to put on. I want to make sure I get this nice and sealed so that, that it doesn't come up uh, when it's kind of wiped down. I want to make sure it looks good and stays good for a long time. So to speed up the process just a little bit with the wax, I used my heat gun and just touched that up just a little bit and then left it for a while to finish drying. And now I'm going to stick my family sign on that has the jute on the back. And I think that stands out really nicely. Now here I'm using some more jute and I'm going to make some jute twine flowers. I learned this from Kelly Barlow Creations and these little flowers are so cool and you can make them at all different sizes. So what I do is I wrap them around, depending on how big, I wrap them around my fingers this time because I want a small flower. I hold one end and I wrap it around my fingers uh, about five times, five or six times, and then I hold it in the middle and I cut another piece to tie in the middle of it to hold it together. And now I'm just fluffing out the loops because these are going to be like the petals of the flower. So I'm going to make two more of these little bundles and then I'm going to show you how they go together. Now that my bundles are finished, I'm going to glue the bottom one and then you just make it like a cross or a kitty corner the next one on top of it and I kind of fluff out the loops. Again, those are going to be your petals and you want them all to be to go in a nice circle like a flower would. And then you're going to offset it a little bit more and put the second or the third one on and that will get fluffed out as well and then you have your flower and you can put whatever you want from the middle of the flower I had some grayish uh, buttons they're not exactly the same because I'm going to make two um, but it is close enough so it goes with the piece
So here I'm showing you that I am going to make another one uh, because when I hung it up on the wall it was a little bit heavy on one side with that flower. So I put the other one on to balance it out. And now I'm taking these little pieces of greenery that I have and I cut a little piece off, or a couple pieces, to have it come out of the flower just to add another dimension to the little family sign. I thought it made it look pretty cute. If you're interested in purchasing this sign, I do have an Etsy shop, Pit Berries and Burlap. There is a link down in the description below if you'd like to check it out and see what I have on there. And this sign, if it has not sold yet, will be there. So if you like it, check it out. So there it is guys, I think it came out so cute. Hey, if you're interested in more thrift flip ideas, I have a playlist right here. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, have a great day.